It was absolutely shocking. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm going to do everything in my power to help ensure that it doesn't happen again. We all will. Sharifa Hoover is part of the Clark County Justice Group and one of the people who helped organize the vigil. It comes after arson fires at ballot boxes, including the one at the Fisher's Landing Transit Center. Hundreds of ballots were damaged. We are a community that's going to stand strong, that we're going to help people get those whose votes were affected, get their ballots restored, um, and just make sure that people feel continually encouraged to exercise their right to vote and protect democracy. There was also a man, not part of the vigil, who used a bullhorn to express his displeasure with the job done by Clark County Auditor Greg Kimsey. I, I didn't interrupt their, their vigil, uh, but I also wanted to speak the truth about Mr. Kimsey's failures. Kimsey was at the vigil and responded by saying changes have been made so voters remain confident. Strikes at the very heart of what we do. Uh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking is the word I've used. Ballot observers are now on duty. Jennifer Whitaker is one of them, stationed at the Fisher's Landing Transit Center. She believes that she saw the suspect again on Friday morning. I saw a man walk through, like on the little sidewalk area, they were walking, and all of a sudden I hear yelling and cussing, and then he started banging really hard on the box. Now, the man left the scene before police responded. She had called 911. No arrests have been made in those arson fires yet. All 22 Clark County's of Clark County's ballot boxes are being monitored 24 hours a day. John. All right, our Art Edwards tonight. Art, thank you.